Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an issue with the Windows System Diagnostics Trace Reporting Platform Diagnostic Actions.dll file is missing on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process on how to resolve this error. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up a web browser of your choice. And then you just want to go ahead and copy the title of this video into Google search. So again, just copy the Windows System Diagnostics Trace Reporting Platform Diagnostic Actions DLL. So just copy that part of my title and then just hit enter to search for it. It should be a website that says dllme.com. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go ahead and select the download button right here. Just go ahead and select that. And you might have to complete a CAPTCHA before continuing. So go ahead and check mark aside of there. And then we're going to select the DLL version that's most up to date up at the top. Give it a moment to begin downloading here. And you're going to have to click a little up arrow and keep the file if for some reason it's removed. And then click the up arrow again and show in folder. We're going to double click on this compressed file. And then you're going to take this DLL file and drag it over to our desktop here. Now you can click on this PC on the left side. Double click on your local disk where Windows is installed to double click on that. Double click on the Windows folder. And then go down to System32. Just take the file that we have on our desktop and just drop it into the System32 folder. And let's say it already exists. We're going to go ahead and replace the file in the destination and then continue. In your case, it probably won't even have the file in there, so it'll let you drop it right in. And then once you're done with that, you can delete the file if it's still left on the desktop. Otherwise, it should be in the System32 folder. And then you would want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.